it's very discouraging to someone like my son. 7 Eyewitness News has an eye on education, so all new at 630. This Clarence mom who you just heard from expressing her frustration with New York State. The state has a rule about high school sports. It says no student can play for more than four straight years. But get this, there is no exception for students with special needs. And that's causing a lot of pain for these students and their families. Now they're hoping you can help. This basketball season, Clarence High School student Zach Kilga is playing the role of assistant coach. And then try to steal the ball, okay? Kilga's been a member of the school's unified basketball team for years. It's a special team combining students of all skill sets. There are typical kids helping non-typical kids to participate and compete. And they form friendships. They have dance parties at halftime. This year, Zach would have loved to be on the court with his teammates, but New York State rules say he's not eligible. Legally, Zach can stay in school longer than most students, but that's not the case when it comes to participating in sports. Our kids with special needs are here until 21 years old. Um, they're alternatively assessed children, so New York State education rules don't apply to them. However, New York State athletic rules do. It's been pretty hard for team bowling. The first team that we had, I cried because I really wanted to bowl. So Zach's coach, his mom, and parents of other players are asking the state to change that rule. They understand why the eligibility rules exist for most students, but they say students like Zach just don't fall under the same guidelines. We're not looking to build NBA players. We're not looking to build pro bowlers. We're just looking for kids to be able to go out and socialize with their typical and non-typical peers. Zach's bedroom is lined with trophies, reminding him of his time on the court. I didn't think I was going to pull it off. It was your first three-pointer? Yeah, it was my first three-pointer. But those trophies are reminders of more than one good shot. Those unified practices and games are all about developing relationships. I've met so many people through different schools, um, different friends that I didn't know that would that would want to hang out. Friends like Donovan Pittman. Donovan's a freshman this year, but if the rules stay the same, he and many other teammates will find themselves in the same position as Zach in just a few years. To see what happens on the court with these children, it, it's honestly life changing. It's really the only place that he has friends. Right, Donovan? Mm -hmm. So now unified parents are taking their message to the state. They're sending letters to their representatives and asking leaders to change the rules and let these students One, two, three. play with their teams. It's about making new friends and helping friends too. These are kids getting together, forming friendships, forming bonds that could last a lifetime. So these parents are asking New York State to agree to a waiver that would allow these students to keep playing. I did reach out to the State Education Department a number of times over the past week by phone and by email. I'm still waiting for a response to these parents' concerns. You would think, though, that the state would be able to extend its rule so these kids can play sports. This is something they look forward to. Right, and like I said, they're just looking for a waiver. They want to be able to identify each athlete and then make decisions based on each one and hopefully just allow those kids to be able to play. And of course, once we get that response from New York State, we'll post it for you on WKBW.com.